Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. It's Ellen back here and we're jumping right in. I got a busy day today and I'm doing kind of a complicated, uh, convoluted, if you will, soap batch today. Let's start with what I've got going here. And uh, I made these embeds a long time ago. They've been just been sitting on my curing rack, waiting for a rainy day, waiting for inspiration. And um, I wanted to do it today. So uh, these were just made with a PVC pipe with my little flexible cutting board liner. I have other videos, my Planet Earth um, and my Moon Embed Soap videos. If you see those, I go more in depth into how I make my round embeds, but that's what's going on here and I cut them in half. So I've got these little sunshine um, and these are old, not old, they're probably a couple of months old, but they're very dry, they've cured out. So I am actually going to need to, um, I'm gonna run these under really hot water for a few minutes and kind of get them a little gummed up a bit so that the soap will adhere to them. <laughs> so I've already had them measured out for my soap mold and there they are so for the sunrise sky well let's start with the fragrance this is called lava from nature's garden i think it's discontinued but it smells wonderful it's very citrusy almost like a sharp citrus like grapefruit really tart i love it and it just made me think of a beautiful sunrise morning so that's going to be the fragrance that i'm using and i actually did use that in these when i made them so we're just carrying that theme through so for my sunrise sky i'm going to start with the darker colors around the little sun embeds and go up to a lighter sky i was looking at pictures of sunrises and sunsets and boy the color variation is just all over the place it's so gorgeous hard to duplicate but the first color I'm gonna do is my red obsession from nurture soap this is a beautiful red and it does have a little fuchsia overtone to it so that's gonna be a color and then right on top of that I'm gonna come in with my jazzberry red so I'll do this I have my pouring pitchers with the little spout I'm gonna try and do like a flame like pour so they'll sort of blend a little bit as I go up so in gradation start here there's next then following through that I have siesta sunset orange will go on top of that and then to top it all off I have my goldenrod yellow will be the top the brightness and then if I have a little soap left over I might put some TD in there and just do a little white on top so that'll be sort of the sunrise colors coming off of these embeds. <laughs> so let me tell you what I did. So these are obviously gonna take up some room in my mold. So I had to kind of figure how am I gonna do my soap batter, the recipe. This would be too much if I added those on top of everything. So I, I weighed these out, the volume of these, and it actually came out to, I bought these cute little snowflake molds from be scented they are adorable they have a super great price on these i grabbed them they're so cute these a dozen of these is almost the same volume as these embeds so i'm going to measure off this amount and i have my twisted peppermint for a different batch another day i will make my snowflakes with the extra batter that would be used up for the room of these and then i will use the rest in there so that is how i'm dealing with the volume difference i hope that makes sense sometimes i don't think i explain things very clearly but anyway let's talk about the soap today it's going to be an aloe vera soap that'll be my lye solution so i'm going to get everything pulled together i'm going to get these kind of wetted up and soggy um, and it might be a little messy getting them in there but that's all right i just want everything to adhere because what i don't want is to cut the bar and have this just pop out and it's very smooth and so i need to kind of get these gup gummed up a little if you will so they'll stick like glue all right it's additives time but first let me show you I've got my little rainbow of colors here all pre-dispersed with a little bit of distilled water and I have spatulas in there just to make blending you know a little bit easier so I just want to have all of my prep work done and set up and ready so that is all off to the side I have my fragrance measured and off to the side and I will just add it you know each color at a time to kind of hopefully keep control over everything. So for the additives today, we're just doing oats and kale and clay. That's what I'm putting in here. So I got two tablespoons oats, two tablespoons kale and clay. We'll get this blended. Get our lye mixture in here, aloe vera lye, up to emulsion, then I will split off from my little snowflakes, and then we will do the rest for our sunrise. I'm gonna hand stir in my lye, hopefully having everything, you know, moving slow so I have time to 
get my snowflakes poured, get my colors blended, all the good stuff. Um, kind of a, I don't know, feel a little discombobulated on my desk here, but that's okay. I think we can get her done. So I just want to get my snowflakes poured and off to the side, and then we will get moving with my sunrise. I do have those little embeds are over in water right now. I just dipped them in a sink full of water and have them soaking. They're getting kind of gummed up. And you know how a soap bar is when you leave it wet by your sink? Well, that's kind of what I'm going for. <laughs> Actually, I try to avoid that normally, but now I'm trying to cause it.
early the next day. I'm not ready to unmold this yet, but I did come down and check on it. It went through gel phase, and here's the top. Now that's not really soda ash, but it's kind of dull, and those colors are so pretty, I want them to pop. So in comes my handy dandy steamer. I have it heating up here. This is just a really inexpensive one from Amazon. Any steamer will do. Um, so I'm waiting for it to start steaming and oh, tip this up. I like to hold it at an angle so I can see what I'm doing. Or I'll try and turn it so the camera can see. As soon as the steam comes out, we're just gonna run this along the top. Now, of course, it's gonna be wet when you do this, but it will dry to the touch and it keeps that shiny sheen on top, which is so pretty. It just makes the colors pop. Totally not necessary. Um, it's just an aesthetic thing. So, you know, definitely don't need to do this. You know, there's nothing wrong with soda ash. It's just an aesthetic. It, it's not damaged soap. It's not lye heavy. It just is a ash that gets on your soap and uh, it doesn't affect the soap at all is what I'm trying to say. It's just a personal preference if you like it on there or not. Some people really like the very natural sort of look of soda ash and I think it's got its own beauty. But with these colors today, I really wanted them to shine, literally. <laughs> so I'm just running this over till I think I have all the dry, dull spots covered and then you're done. And again, this is wet, but we'll come back in a few hours when it's dry to the touch and ready to unmold and it will keep that nice glossy look. And it just kind of makes the colors vibrant. So we'll see, we'll come back in a couple hours. All right, it's been a couple of hours since I steamed the top on here, and it's just a little bit shinier, a little bit brighter. Um, it's a very subtle difference, but I like it. I think it's worth the effort. So let us get in here. I'm very anxious to see how the colors look, the pointy swirl. Uh, this was a very fluid batch, but I was really glad for that because I wanted I wanted the colors to sort of mesh a little bit and maybe do like a flame-like pour. I don't know. We gotta get in here and see what's going on, all right? Let's get it out of the mold. We're back with the lovely Olga and it's time to cut. I'm very, very anxious to see what we've got going on. The colors are popping, it's looking cool. So there is only one way to find out and that's just to get right on in here. Uh, smells fantastic. I'm loving the colors on this end. Oh, those embeds are tough. I've got to cut slow. Those are old soap in there. There we go, we made it. All right, let's see. Oh, how fun is that? <laughs> it's a little psychedelic. All right, we got a psychedelic sunrise. There we go. Oh, that's funny. These are kind of cracking me up, but I love the colors. They smell kind of juicy. Definitely got like a flame pour. I don't know if that looks like a sunrise or not, but they look really happy. Maybe we'll just call them happy sunny bars. Those are cute. I'm loving the colors. Love the top. These are, these are very happy. If you get the winter blues, I think these would brighten your day for sure. All right, let's keep going on the cut. And these definitely adhered. They're, they're in there solid, so that makes me very pleased with that. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Oh, that one's pretty. Yeah, I don't know if I'm getting a sunrise or not, but the colors are just happy. All right, let's get into the next loaf and see if this one's looking any different. Just cutting the soap is always fun. You never know what you're going to get. 
till you get in there and it's always an adventure. It's always kind of fun to see. <laughs> these are just cracking me up. I don't know why they, I don't know why these are funny to me. I think they're hilarious. They're almost like a cartoony sun, sunset sunrise. That's what it is. It's like cartoon sunrise, right? But they're fun. All right, that one got a little end piece there. I'll just put that through the planer. And uh, actually, let me, let me go get the planer and I'll show you how to fix that when it happens. It bled through the, the pieces, the sections. All right, here is my little soap planer. I got this on Amazon. It's a super cheap one. I don't use it for much, but this is one of the times when I do use it because I want that sun to be a full face sun. So I'm gonna do that first here and literally just run it across the planer. Let's see, go like this. And it'll take one more swipe till we get the whole sun showing. The blade's really sharp, so you have to be careful with them, but let's see. There we go, and there we go. There's the sun. And it just didn't take off too much. And then you have these really cool little soap twirls. I don't know what you'd use that for, but it's really cute. All right, it's time to trim these up and get them stamped. And I am revisiting the name for these. They're just so bright and they smell so good, but it doesn't look like a sunrise to me. So I was thinking of maybe naming them, I don't know, Solar Flare or something, sunburst, it just kind of, you know if you look at through one of those massive space telescopes and it shows the, the sunburst flames coming off the sun, it kind of looks like that to me. I might call these solar flare because I think that goes more, but um, man, these smell great. So let me get this stamped and we'll get the rest of these cleaned up and going and I will think of a name before this video is released they will be named but uh, I don't think it's going to be morning sunrise I'm just not getting that vibe definitely getting a different vibe on these but I'm loving them 